I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit and I believe in the ministry of prayer. In the next five minutes, without losing concentration, I want you to begin to pray in the Spirit. Open up your heart by faith. Pray in the Spirit. Pray in understanding. Prepare your heart for the prayer points that are about to come. Is someone praying? Go ahead and pray. Somebody is praying. In the name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 54 and verse 17. Isaiah 54 and verse 17. This my people, please. Can you worship team? You people have sung, eh? Let, let my people use the mic and let's pray. Maybe four or five mics. You can send it to my dear people so that we'll take some time to pray in this place tonight. Isaiah 54 and verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. It says, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. It says, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Listen carefully. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. We are praying over the issue of supernatural protection and preservation. Are we together now? Luke chapter 10 and verse 19. I'll give you three scriptures, two more now. Luke 10, 19, please. Luke 10, 19. Behold, Koinonia, I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. It says, and nothing shall by any means. Someone say by any means. Amen. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. 2 Timothy 4 and verse 18. 2 Timothy 4 and verse 18. And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work, it says, and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be glory forever and ever. Someone shout, say in the name of Jesus. One more time, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that every walk of evil over my life over my family and all connected to me I come against you in the name of Jesus open your mouth and begin to pray Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, he said he suffered no man to do them wrong. He reproved kings for their sake, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Say in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I am God's anointed. I am God's anointed. Therefore, I declare, therefore, I declare that every evil, that every evil against my life, against my life. I cost you by the blood of the Lamb. Open your mouth and pray. Every evil. Every evil. Get 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every closed door. Every closed door. Over my destiny. Over my destiny. Right now. Right now. I declare. I declare. Be open. Be open. Please open your mouth and pray. Be open. Every closed door. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. He said, I desire to come to you once and again, even I, Paul, but Satan hindered us. Satan can hinder men. I'd like you to shout it from the depth of your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I take authority, I take authority over every hindrance. Over every hindrance. Stopping good things. Stopping good from things. coming into my life. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every hindrance. Man, systems, demonic forces. Every hindrance. I come against you. I come against you. I come against you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. If you are in ministry or you are in any form of leadership, as we pray this prayer, let it be from your heart. Every chain. Every chain. Shout it again. Say every chain. Every chain. Tying down my advancement. Tying down my advancement. Tying down my progress. Tying down my progress. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say every legal access. Every legal access. That the devil has over my life. That the devil has over my life. Over
over the works of my hands over the works of my hands and over all connected to me and over all connected to me by the blood of the lamb by the blood of the lamb i declare i declare that access is broken now go ahead and pray every legal access every legal access even the lawful captive shall be delivered Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please listen carefully. Listen carefully. Just help those under the anointing. When I was preparing the prayer request, this prayer request, I had a vision. And in the vision, I saw a woman sitting down. And I just saw tears coming out of her eyes. And that was when this scripture came. Psalm 116 verse 8. Psalm 116 and verse 8. Psalm 116 for thou hast delivered my soul from death my eyes from tears and my feet from falling someone say in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus I, decree and I decree and declare that the spirits that the spirit and the forces, and the forces responsible, for my tears, responsible for my tears I declare judgment upon you judgment now upon you. open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus 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 Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The mantle for my destiny. The mantle for my destiny. The mantle for my assignment. Mantle for my assignment. Rest upon me now. Rest Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. The grace assigned. The mantle assigned for your destiny. Let it rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, two more prayer points. Fire is burning in this place. Mm. You are going to pray. Everything that left my life, everything that left my life, by demonic orchestrations, by demonic orchestrations, I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Return back to my destiny. Open your mouth and prophesy. Restoration. 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 Everything, everything, everything. Restore, restore, restore years, restore things, restore years, restore things. Let's go, 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 let's go
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. The final prayer point, I want you to pray it with all of your heart. 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 26. 15, 26. And the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Last week, you cannot imagine how many people I got without exaggeration, probably thousands of text messages saying, Apostle, thank you so much. That message, I shall not die. It just destroyed. You cannot imagine how many people live perpetually in the fear of death. Fear of death. He says, and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage. Say in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare that I have no covenant with death. I have no covenant with the grave. Therefore, every altar that wants to administer death. May the Lord judge you right now. Open your mouth and pray. I have no covenant with death. No covenant with death. No covenant with death. No covenant with the grave. Someone pray. No covenant with death. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, many of you will be surprised as you see answers to this prayer begin to come into your life. There is a God that answers prayers. He says there shall be no more infant of days. You see, when you see things going wrong in your life, you have a responsibility to identify it based on the will of God, not based on emotions. The basis for everything we do. Listen, I have taught you that the, the administration of the power of God is within the jurisdiction of the will of God. The power of God does not act outside of the will of God. Are we together? The ability, the assignment, the mandate upon the power of God is to restore all things to be consistent with the will of God. Hallelujah. So when the power of God comes upon a person, it works only with respect to the will of God. This is the confidence upon which we can release God's word and expect it to work. Because when the word of God, listen, the word of God works like a drug. When a doctor gives you a pill or a set of pill to swallow, you don't have to tell the pill where to go to. Already designed, are we together now? It knows where to go and find the entire pharmacology of the drug. It was designed to identify there is a way it works in your body. For some of you, the moment you swallow the drug, it will demand that you are asleep for it to really work. So it will just hibernate your body and force you to sleep. And then you wake up with a sigh of relief. Hallelujah. When the power of God comes into your life, it does not know you as a person. It only knows the will of God or what is not the will of God. And the assignment of the power of God is to start scanning your life. No, this, this growth here is inconsistent with the will of God. That becomes the ministry right there. Hallelujah. So don't just fall down and stand up for nothing. Don't just shout and scream for nothing. No, understand what the power of God is doing in your life. When we are praying for the sick, 
we may not mention your case you see because even within the prophetic you are limited and whether your case is mentioned or not yours is to receive let the power of God go into your body the power of God has no business going to your kidneys when the problem is in your head if a drug that was designed by man has that level of intelligence and precision how much more the word of God that is quick and powerful the Bible says it is sharper than every two-edged sword it is able to divide even to asunder between the soul and the spirit and that it can even discern the intent of the heart of man hallelujah when the anointing of the spirit comes upon you you must believe that you received something and then you must take the relevant actions once i pray for the sick and we we it is time to take testimonies for those in all the overflow so that we do it in an orderly manner as we always do if they are coming for the testimony allow them to come those outside there are several people outside so that there's no chaos make sure that there's an orderly way to usher them in and then for those who are online you can always send in your testimonies and we'll be able to take a few in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ jesus did not ignore the presence of demons jesus did not ignore the reality of the ministry of demons in fact in his teaching very clearly he would he would let them know that from the beginning it was not so that satan had played a role in the conditions of those people but the most important thing is that every time jesus works miracles it is for the revelation of his glory that means one of the ways that he reveals his glory is by working miracles john chapter 2 and verse 11 this beginning of miracles the bible says did jesus in cana of galilee and manifested forth his glory how did he manifest his glory by beginning to do miracles the bible says and the disciples believed in him hallelujah in john chapter 20 from verse 30 and 31 give it to us please john 20 and many other signs truly did jesus in the presence of the disciples which are not written in this book 31 it says but these are written that ye might believe that jesus is the christ the son of god and that in believing you might receive life through his name so there are no limits to what he's able to do hallelujah several people have come right now with oppressions of darkness and there is no reason you can't have some of you have come here from as early as eight nine in the morning can you imagine to wait that long only to experience the power of god would it be just and fair that you return back the way you came and then the only thing you say is well i came for a miracle service what then is the miracle about the service hallelujah so as I minister by the Spirit I want you to focus not just on people falling and standing up focus on what the power of God is doing and then especially in your own life too. believe that God is doing something in your life when God gives a prophetic word say for instance even if your name is not called and it applies to you right where you are what he says to one he says to all you can connect by faith is a father and the lord who has transited in glory archbishop benson in Dahosa, who says if your faith says yes god will not say no he says if ye being evil know how to give good gifts how much more will your heavenly father hallelujah several people are here under the influence of strange unclean the bible calls them wicked spirits that masquerade behind the negative conditions of men i hope you know that most negative conditions in the lives of people are sponsored and influenced by the presence of demon spirits and fighting physical things is only a total waste of time it is authority in the name of jesus that is able to deal with these demonic forces and that separation is what the bible calls deliverance
the greatest of them being your salvation itself because salvation is the chiefest expression of deliverance being translated the bible says from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son but that does not neglect nor downplay other dimensions of deliverance like that which happens upon mount zion because the bible says but upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness then the sons of jacob shall possess their possession are you ready tonight as for me for as long as i live the devil will not rest for as long as i live there will not be one person who comes under this this prophetic atmosphere oppressed by the devil acts 10 38 how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power he went about doing good and healing not all day that were sick that means most sicknesses are issues of deliverance healing all that they all day that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him in the name of jesus christ and so please when people are falling under the anointing close to you we have a lot of ushers hundreds of them but they are limited and we need to stretch and work with time if someone is under the anointing close to you whether you are an usher or not if there is a call to bring them out please do well to bring them out let's work together so that god grants us grace in the name of jesus one last prayer father i'm ready locate me and visit me go ahead and pray locate me visit me locate me visit me Mm. in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ when we minister deliverance it's not just an issue of anointing and power there is a dimension of kingdom authority you see authority is higher than power it is authority that gives power its legitimate ground to be administered are we together the person who has power and the person who has authority one with authority is greater because you can use power illegitimately authority is what gives power its credence for instance if you carry a gun and you shoot someone you can be in jail for the rest of your life because you have power but you do not have authority is that true yeah when you get to the court of law they are not going to ask you if you have a gun they will say based on what what gave you that authorization but no judge will call a military man and say why did you shoot these people when you are in war they got the command to fire from their commanding officer and they acted so are we together now he said we have been commanded to bless so I'm about to pray and I'm going to ask you to start bringing those under the anointing it's interesting how God does this thing believe me you would think that after walking in the with the power of God for so many years you should get used to the dynamism of the workings of God's power I still I still am amazed and how the power of God rests upon people and the, the, the entire administration of the power of God is still a, a maybe not a surprise in all fairness but it still keeps me in awe. I'm, I'm just saying my God I fear you every time I see him do this thing now you can imagine a, a, a church is silent peaceful matured able-bodied looking people and in seconds just like that deliverance and all kinds of things begin to happen to people what a marvelous God we serve hallelujah so I'm going to pray God has given me the marching orders by his spirit ordinary men helped by God hallelujah the power of God is going to begin to fall on people now don't shout don't say anything I just want you to bring them out I'm seeing the ground open and I'm seeing something look like smoke coming out of that ground and this is connection with ancestry and the spirits of the dead and there are people within this auditorium and outside there are all kinds of demonic fraternities and right now by the spirit of god 
the power of God is beginning to rest on such families and altars. Please bring them out. Bring them out right now. It's not something you can stand. This is, this is by the spirit of the living God. Please bring them out and bring them out very quickly. Jesus is alive and the power of the grave is broken, broken forever. I decree and declare right now that everything young and old, there are some of you who are standing representing families, fraternities with the grave, the spirits of the dead. It says, oh death, where is your sting? And oh grave, where is your victory? May that grace come upon you now, bringing liberty, bringing liberty, bringing liberty by the spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Marvelous God. Now God is showing me something. I'm seeing something that looks like a shadow coming out of people. Like physically, shadow. These are spirits that have been moving in the bodies of people. In the name of Jesus. Every familiar spirit. Every spirit that is not of God, that has connected itself to your spirit, manipulating your life and your destiny, I declare that it leaves you right now. I bring you deliverance right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. 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 Hallelujah. Now we're going to shout that name Jesus. Please hear me. This is not just for individuals now. There are many, many families. The Lord is showing me, I'm seeing a man standing, a very tall man. And I'm seeing chains on your feet. Both of your feet. They are under chains. And the Lord is telling me that that man represents families. It's not just an individual. We're about to shout that name Jesus. The moment that happens, the power of God will come on individuals representing their various families no matter where they are some of them may not be here on ground but the power of God is coming upon them are you ready to shout that name Jesus one two three shout Jesus I break those chains I break those chains now I break those chains now I release families under demon under demonic captivities chains be broken 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 hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is showing me a family here in fact for that person I don't know if it's that you have changed the surname or you want to change the surname because someone told you something about the surname and said there is something connected to ancestry that comes with that name who is that person I'm about to pray for that person I'm seeing a lady you are wearing red complete red down this is you are one of such persons that the Lord wants to visit with that name. I'm giving it, please, let's respect the... I give the chains falling. I give the chains falling. Let me tell you the truth. Now, I'm not, I'm not advising you to go and change names. I am just telling you that in the realm of the spirit a name is more than a means of identification are we together now to the an extent that god would call abraham abraham sarai sarah cephas peter i want to pray right now i'm going to stretch my hands towards you the power of god is going to come you don't have to change the name physically but from the realm of the spirit any connection with any name in the name of jesus those in front I stretch my hands right now every altar that powers any name to walk evil over you in the name of Jesus I declare right now at the count of three let it be broken one two three break break now 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 every name connected to ancestry I'm saying it again. Names.
dreams that came as a result of dedications done to idols names that came as a result of covenants with the dead by the power that raised Christ from the dead from the realm of the spirit I break the power of those names now I break the power of those names now I break the power of those names now I'm telling you I'm just see fire rising in front that's what I'm saying I say it again I break the power of those names now the power of the, help that woman the power of those names now please hear me I'm praying for everybody but then for those in front here any exchange that has happened in the realm of the spirit an exchange of your destiny on account of an exchange of oh I'm, I'm seeing exchanges happening let there be a restoration now a restoration now by fire a restoration now a restoration now a restoration now release your destinies release your destinies every altar release your destinies now please hear me some of you while I'm praying for you here your loved ones who are not here but because they are connected by bloodline what God is doing I'm saying it again he said and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren the mother called him Jabez sorrow every name spiritually and physically that is upon your life right now and is responsible for your destruction I come by the rod of a higher priesthood let that name change now the power behind that name I break it now I break it now I break it now hallelujah I'm about to pray a very serious prayer right now for those who can you can return to your seat um, I'm seeing the map of Nigeria listen carefully now and the Spirit of the Lord is taking me to Benway State and I'm hearing the name Aleku in the name of Jesus Christ any family that is connected to that spirit of divination right now the power of God is going to come on some people that spirit Alec be broken be broken be broken the spirits of the dead help them please Benway state or anyone connected to that state in the name of Jesus Christ be broken now be broken now State. I don't know what it is that you have to do with a tree but the Lord is showing me a tree every covenant it is true that believers are called trees but not demonic trees I decree and declare every connection with the elements of creation that is for your destruction I set you free now Hallelujah. Hallelujah.